after three chances, three times, can we finally get this one right? I think so. Are you done hanging your tongue out? Are you done rubbing your face? Are you done doing all the things that kids like you do? I'm sorry, I just look good in that black and white portrait, you know. So we're in the process of, we're possibly moving. Yeah. So we're going to be moving to a different location. Of course, we're not going to disclose that because that's not what we do. We're just here. <clears throat> um, so excuse the mess behind us. Also, um, we're working on getting some other equipment. Yeah. To make some things lights. better. I know that we're still learning. You know, it's, it's a process. It's a learning curve. So we're, we're learning all that. So, I want to first of all start off by saying thank you to everybody who's watched. Um, it means a lot. We're not a high production, we're not um, all that in a bag of chips. Um, but we're here, and we're just doing it for fun. So, here we are. We are, what? Stuck in the Lair? With episode 8. Yep. So, something interesting... With you, I almost I really want to just get up and leave. Why don't you do this by yourself? Are you done? Kids, I never understand them. That's Justin. I'm Mike. So today we had the privy, or we had the excitement of um, the new Joker trailer dropping, or the teaser trailer. Mm hmm. <clears throat> now, I had seen pictures, um, and I'd seen different things that had to do with the new Joker movie, and I think it's more of an origin movie, or more of just a movie. I'm not sure. I don't, I'm not sure, it just looks like a movie. Could be an origin, because his mother's in it. In the actual Joker, and how he became Joker. Possibly. Of course, for the last eight years or so, it's been up in speculation. Of how the Joker came to be. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix is taking on the Joker role. Um, I was up in the air about him at first. I didn't like the way the Joker looked. I didn't like the makeup. I don't know. I kind of dig the makeup. The makeup looks good. It just take off that blue crap around his eyes. But after watching the trailer, I think it's going to be a new take on Joker. I kind of like the new take. It's, it's good. I don't think it's going to follow a comic per se or the comic book lore. Um, I think it's going to be its own beast on its own. Yeah. Which is actually not a bad idea. Uh -uh. Um, because Marvel has done, as we've all seen, Marvel hasn't really followed a whole followed a whole lot when it comes to the comics. They do follow some, but they haven't followed a whole lot, uh, which is good because what they're doing is creating a cinematic universe which is different from the books. Um, some of the origins have stayed the same, some of them have been different. Um, DC, they haven't been so fortunate. Um, the last great DC movie, um, more Batman movie we even saw, was from Christopher Nolan. Mm -hmm. um, or Christian Nolan. All I know is it's Nolan. But he did a great job with him. Um, he had Wonder Woman. Um, as of late, Aquaman. And I'm seeing good things about Shazam. Haven't seen it, but I'm seeing good things. Shazam looks like it's funny. Um, Justice League. Um, that was a good movie. It wasn't great, but it was good. Um, the only good part of that movie was Green Lantern. Batman vs. Superman was good. wasn't great. Oh, so be quiet. You love that movie. Deep. Why must you put me out there like that? We did the last episode, too. So, I really think, and I, I think it's a great idea that these movie directors and producers and um, companies go their own way. I think they should um, create something new as far as an origin, a backstory, other than trying to stay true to the comics. It is hard in some aspects to stay true to everything. Yeah. Especially after... Batman's been around 80 years. We're celebrating 80 years this year with Batman. Um, 
Joker didn't come too far after. So, and Joker, it's great because Joker is one of the most notorious and biggest villains of what all time. Mm-hmm. He's also the most loved. <laughs> I wouldn't say loved. He's there, and the, we know who, everybody knows who the Joker is. It's more or less a household name at this point. Uh, we've had different renditions of Joker. Um, we've had the Joker from Batman sixty six. I forget who played him, um, but he did a great job. Uh, we've had animated Joker. I like the animated Jokers. Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill nailed the Joker on that one. Uh, we've had Heath Ledger. Rest in peace. Um, we did a phenomenal job. Um, we've had Jared Leto, which was okay. It wasn't the best, but it was another rendition of Joker. It just shows there's been different Jokers along the way. Oh, you mean that one from Suicide Squad? Yeah. I like that one. He wasn't bad. Um, I may be overlooking maybe one or two Jokers. Oh, um, Jack Nicholson. What about Killing Joke Joker? From the animated series. Mark Hamill. So we've had these different Jokers along the way, and now we have this Joker movie coming. And I really think that with the Joker movie coming, I think it's going to spark a lot of interest, of course, again, with Batman and Joker and the whole rogue gallery. Um, this movie comes out October 4th. I really think it's going to do well because it's different. Uh, it looks like it's put together. It looks like um, we have a story. Yeah. It looks like more of, this is what Joker went through. This is the things that Joker endured. The sadness. The stuff they never explained in the comics. Put on a happy face. That's not what they said. Uh, so, I'm kind of excited for it. I did kind of like how in the trailer he started going crazy towards like the end of the trailer. Yeah, he started to do more Joker-esque stuff. Like the running and the stupid stuff. And I think it's good. Work up to it. I don't think you should start off being Joker and just go balls to the wall right into it. Mm -hmm. Work up to it. Yeah. Show us that you can be Joker. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. So, I'm sure there will be other thoughts and other reviews out there. Um, but these are our thoughts on how we took it. Now, one speculation is... Will Harley Quinn make an appearance towards the No. Movie? This is a Joker movie. I don't think Harley's going to have anything to do with it because she's doing a separate movie and this actually takes place in the earlier years. Oh, my bad, my bad. So there is no Harley Quinn or Harley Quinzel at this point. Yes, that's her name. Harley Quinzel. I thought it was Harley Quinn. No, it's Harley Quinzel. Now you're making stuff up. Because it's always been Harley Quinn. Her doctor name is Harleen Quinzel. Oh. Did you not see that in Suicide Squad? I only paid attention to Joker and Harley. If you paid attention to Harley, you would have seen that. True. <laughs> so, that's been our take. Uh, we welcome everybody else's comments. Um, whatever at this point. Um... If you don't feel the same, that's fine. This is where we're at. This is what we do. Um, so we're excited to see it. October 4th. We might see it in the theaters. I don't know. We'll see. But between now and then, what can you do? Put on a happy face. It's been episode 8. Stuck in the lair. With him. <laughs>